25 minutes, 54 seconds in, he says, Your energy beings. Uh, Jay Arras sounds a lot more like Jonathan here. Jonathan's character becomes much more noticeable. Um, and sort of a tainted version of myself. Um, it's, a, it's a tainted version of me and my father under Jonathan's influence. Um... Anyone that knows Jay Arrow should notice this fairly quickly. One minutes, 19 seconds. Uh, Jonathan's influence gets stronger again. Uh, 31 minutes, 23 seconds. It's not abuse. It's not abuse where you grow abuse freak frequencies. Blah. It's not abuse where you grow... Abu it's not abuse where you grow abuse freak frequencies. Blah. He, you know, again, this is Jonathan's program. There's another video, Consulta consultation request form issues info, um, another recently uploaded video, um, talks about this, uh, this kid, Jordan, uh, he's a big problem to J.R., uh, a lot of him, his um, original first being male energy, he ends up committing suicide. Um, and I realized on the last video I saw a sign, what I saw was the, there's a big chunk at the end of the last video, the For Sheila P video that I just spoke about, um, where the subtitles at the end, they keep repeatedly, there's, there's a huge chunk of, um, at the last half of the video, it's just, he plays the clip that he loves to play of the, of nature. Um, and it's just the tide going in and out, and the subtitles keep repeating foreign every, I think it's every three minutes, something like that. Um, so I wrote this down, um, and, you know, I've been looking at anagrams of names a lot lately, you know, with the discovery of my own original names uh, that go uh, way back before... Um, before creation. Uh, what I came up with is Niger, N I G E R, and then O, and then of, um, O F, which to me was, um, so I remember, it, it, it was, to me it was no coincidence that I've been interacting or picking up on the stalking of. Um, uh, people that I grew up around in Wales um, and I remember on one of the the walls they spray painted the word nigger but they spelled it wrong they spelled it with one G and so they ended up spray painting niger on the on the on the wall and I always on the fence uh, not far from my house and I always remember it, it's a it's a memory that stands out to me um, so to me, I think uh, my father 
or myself or me and my father as spirits uh, implanted a code in the video um, explaining something about um, about uh, people I grew up with from Wales which are they are also um, I, you know, and I also I figured out this code around the same time that I stopped uh, where I hear about this kid Jordan who was a big problem for my father who ended up committing suicide who had a lot of original first being male energy um, uh, and what I realized is these people I grew up around that are stalking me still right now and were sort of prominent in that moment um, they they are easily controlled by the original first being male and they have a lot of original first being male energy as well um, you know it doesn't have to mean they're, they're enemies but it does mean they are likely a big problem um, uh, so that's what I gathered gathered from that code um, yeah and then, and then so in the consultation request form issues video where he talks about how this kid Jordan is a big problem 17 minutes 40 seconds in I had a life with more money and you don't sound like Frank um, sound like Frank I mean sort of critical of Frank Zoo understandably I understand it um, um, you know, I'm destroying Frank Zoo right now. Um, he's all, he, he was a big problem uh, for a long time. Uh, the effect he had on me was a uh, big effect. Uh, very cold. He saw me as a as a an object. Um, to this day, he's he. he He's still not learning, you know, to not try and possess people and control them um, and treat them as dolls and torture them um, to this day. Um, I wonder what's going to be left of Frank Sue. Uh, uh, so 17 minutes, 40 seconds in, he says... I had a life with more money and you don't. Sounds like Frank. He's sort of critical of Frank and I understand it, but he, this is not my father's real character. I suppose in some ways it could be on a lower vibration, but uh, this does not sound like my father. He is clearly heavily influenced to be um, a, a, a different character. Um, and... In the next video, latest attacks from the other side, what's left of it. Um, this is another recent video in, in on the JR channel. That's latest attacks from the other side, what's left of it. Um, one highlight that I notice is 300 million pieces of Aramelia separated and went into bodies. Now, this is not information that I read in the book. So this is very important information. And my father just manages to you know, um, get it in one of his videos, although I'm sure there's loads of other information like that on there, I just, I have yet to check. Um, uh, uh, for me, I wrote, uh, it, it seems far more likely to me that there are pieces of Lilith, Lydia and Armelius in bodies as well, all over the place. Um, and this, these are theories and things that I've been talking about in, in recent videos. Um, I know I get it wrong, but uh, we, we, you know, I, I was onto something, um, and I have picked up beings like this already, and I have been destroying them with my father already. He had, he wasn't, um, I don't think he came into this life to destroy them in bodies as much. He was more focused on the original first being male and the, the, the spirits, um, in other areas. Um... Um, I'm here primarily to destroy them in body, um, and have been, 
um, me and my father, we do it together. Um, so nine minutes, nine seconds in, JR's facial expressions indicates a state of programming. At the same time, uh, he had a visitor, quotation, had a visitor. Ah, yeah, something happened. I see his face change in uh, an unnatural way. Uh, he explains right after I see his face change that he, he had a visitor. Um, he had an interaction with someone, but regardless of that interaction, it was not uh, a natural change for him. But again, this was probably likely Jonathan's programming. However, it could have been the being that was communicating with him. Um, and this would indicate, and um, it is likely, that there are loads of other beings programming him. It's just the one that stood out the most is Jonathan's. But the one we should keep in mind also that um, had a big effect on him is Deanna's. And I think Deanna was programming him for a long time as well. Um, or using me to program him in possession of me programming me and programming him at the same time. Um, uh, and I've written at the bottom Your revelation will end soon And I wrote the date and time 534 1st of August 2022 um, I can't remember why I wrote that It was, I think it was in the subtitles or somewhere I've read it somewhere and I wrote it down for some reason um, and finally I come to a conclusion and uh, well more a question of my father was always talking about how strong Frank Zoo and Jonathan were in a lot of his videos and he was being programmed by them a lot at the same time so I wonder now how much was he referring to a sort of watered down version of myself while possessed by Frank Zoo and Jonathan. Um, and how much was he referring to Frank Zoo and Jonathan?